Exercise 4.6 is about collecting and pasting paragraphs of text. So oftentimes you may have uh, a paragraph or two that you may paste uh, multiple times at different locations. Then if that's the case, why don't you just go ahead and collect them and then just paste it wherever and whenever you want it. So let's go ahead and do that and by opening the count items.docx you don't have to save it just open it and here we're going to just start collecting uh, paragraphs well some text it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a paragraph it could be just um, just text any kind of text or even images and, and other things as well so okay so let's do that um, so before we copy it's uh, helpful to open up the uh, clipboard task panner uh, pane so let's go to the home tab and then click on this uh, quick launcher uh, clipboard launcher and then you have clipboard and here is the uh, it says it list of click an item to paste but we don't need this and this is basically leftover from the previous uh, activities so I'm gonna go ahead and click on clear all so clear out the clipboard so right now the clipboard is empty and now so then I, I can have a fresh start all right so once I open open the uh, uh, clipboard test pane I'm gonna start copying all right select paragraph one so that's paragraph one so double click and then copy boom and then it shows over here and then I'm gonna copy its third paragraph copy boom it shows right here all right then I'm gonna go ahead and close this document don't be afraid I'm gonna just go ahead and close it and um, I'm not gonna save it but guess what whatever that I have done is uh, is listed here Okay, somehow the third paragraph got um, somehow copied twice. Maybe I accidentally click on twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and then click on delete. So that's gone. And if you lose it somehow, if you close it, that's okay. You can go ahead and click, uh, if it's closed, you can go always go to the home tab and click on this uh, uh, clipboard pane launcher, click on it, it comes back. All right, so these uh, pay, uh, copied items, uh, the history of copied items are still uh, kept in the clipboard. So now let's go ahead and open another document. And computer, chapter four, and this time I'm gonna open, um, hmm, yeah, actually this time I'm gonna open a blank document. So let's see. Click on new document or simply you could press control N. So let me just go ahead and close this. So from here, hold on the control key and letter N as a new. Okay. And then type in the following. Press down, press the cap lock, and then um, contract negotiation items. Contract negotiation items and press the enter key and let's highlight those and make it bold and then I'm gonna apply center formatting and then come down here hit the enter key maybe a couple of times and then we're gonna start uh, pasting and this time I'm gonna paste all over here again if it's closed don't be afraid just go ahead and click on the clipboard pane launcher here and then I have a paste all here so everything that is in the list on the clipboard will be pasted here where the insertion point is blinking so go ahead and click on paste all boom it gets uh, pasted it but notice this the numbers is 
the way um, the order that is listed, the order it was uh, copied. So this is copied first and this is copied second. And even though it has a number three because that had the ordered item in the previous uh, document, it was ordered, uh, ordered item number three. But since it is a second paragraph or second number, notice that the number has changed to uh, or updated to two. So even the numbering gets automatically adjusted. So that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and open another document. Just keep this open. So go ahead and open file um, and then open, go to my computer, go to chapter four. And this time I'm gonna open union argument. So union agreement. So go to union agreement, open it. And here, I'm going to just copy, so press escape key first. I'm going to be copying a whole bunch of things. So paragraph number two in the wage section. Here's a wage section. I'm going to copy, double click, copy that, paragraph number two. And paragraph number four, so I keep double clicking in the selection box area. And then we go to work week section, first paragraph, double click and copy. And paragraph number three, copy. And paragraph number five, Copy it. Notice that all these things get added over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this one. So that was a source document. So I come down here and make sure the insertion point is blink, uh, is, is positioned at the end of the document. So this is a document, a new document I just created and added a couple of items. Remember that? All right. So Make sure that the insertion point is uh, positioned at the end of the document and then paste the paragraphs by completing the following steps. So click on the button in the clipboard paste uh, here and then represent the paragraph number, number two that is when the paragraph is inserted in the document, the paragraph number changes three. So, um, okay, paragraph paragraph number two. So it was, that's the first one. That's the second one that I already have here and here, that one and that one, I already have it. So my, my insertion point is blinking at the end of the document. Okay, so this paragraph two, Boom, just click on it and it becomes number three. And then click on clipboard paragraph number four. Click on it, it becomes four. And then paragraph, um, paragraph number three. Boom. And, and paragraph number five. Boom. And did I miss paragraph one? Well, it doesn't say anything about paragraph one. So I guess we're not going to do it. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can add um, the items to the clipboard and then recycle it. If you want to, you can just keep recycling the same thing if you want to. Obviously, that's not really a uh, desirable outcome, but you may use the same item on a multiple sections or multiple documents. So whatever you have here, you can recycle. You can, you can reuse it. 
But of course, if you want to get rid of it, just go ahead and click on clear all and they all disappears. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. So go ahead and click on file, save as, and then computer chapter four assignments. And then we're going to name it as CO4 dash EO6 dash final agreement. Okay, I need to take the cap lock off. CO4 dash EO6 dash final A G R M N T agreement and go ahead and click on save. That's it. So this is exercise 4.6b on page number 120. This is the last section of the of the chapter. So we're going to do a, a case special. So the textbook shows something about uh, copying and pasting, but uh, paste with the special options. So let's go ahead and open team members.docx. So go to file, open, and go to doc computer and chapter four. So team number.docx, open it. So it's got a bunch of um, escape key. So it's got a bunch of names and then it's fairly uh, big letters like a Tahoma font size and uh, font font face and then size 20. So these are really big, big uh, letters. So, but we need a name. So let's go ahead and select all, control A, copy it. So it's in the clipboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then here, um, back to the document that we've been working on, go to the bottom of the document. And then let's do paste. So instead of just click on paste, so if we click on it, then it gets, you know, just the font is just awful. It doesn't fit. So I'm going to undo that. Um, so, but this time, so go ahead and click on this uh, drop down uh, list from the, uh, from the paste button. And then go down to paste special. So paste special has a little dialog box. So oftentimes when I use this, it's more of Microsoft Word document or sometimes I use even Excel. I can paste it. Uh, even I have, sometimes I get to have choice of a linking so that if I update like a Word document or Excel chart in another file, but I'm copying it, it keeps the link so that it gets automatically updated. Anyway, so right now um, it's a simple, uh, a simple text. So let me just go ahead and use the unformatted text. Basically, it wants, I want to paste, but nothing but the text, no formatting, nothing. Okay, so unformatted text and go ahead and click on OK. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me any option for a paste link, but um, go ahead and click on OK. And there you have it. Um, so you may wonder, OK, isn't it this basically the same as paste? And go down to third option, which is the keep the text only. The answer to that is yes. Essentially, it's the same. So I don't see any difference in terms of formatting or what it's whatsoever. So, nah, no big deal. Anyway, so go ahead and apply some formatting. Let's make it uh, make it bold, and then I'm gonna apply some bulleted items like that. Okay, so that's it. So. Am I supposed to center align it? No, just that's it.
Go ahead and save it. That's the end of it.